We're learning to play Sunrise on the Matterhorn Trinity Grade 3 piece. Uh, we've been working on the first two lines, this lovely thing. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we go into this next section. Let's just stick with that for a moment. Okay, so in the right hand at bar nine, we have this melody. These are two phrases. So make sure you don't just play one great big phrase. We want a little break, just a little subtle break. So first phrase, start on the D, then B, D, C sharp. Slight adjustment of position, third finger onto the B. So that's your first phrase, okay? Three onto B. So just getting used to that. Then you move, new phrase. Uh, you don't need to move, sorry, you're in the right place, but just lift and then go. Okay. So thumb on G, three on G. Back to the G and F sharp. Then the next bit's almost the same, but an octave higher, right up there. So it's shift to your three on the B, thumb on the G, three on the G, and instead of going down, you go up to A and then A, C sharp, E. So that was an A major chord, and then this other hand comes over and adds the A back at the top. So, back to bar nine. Here's the melody again. So we try it together and switch to your third on B, thumb on the G, three on the G, two, three, four, three on B, thumb on G, three on G, slowing down a bit, fourth finger. over and add that. Okay, so let's have a little look at the left hand chords. We've got broken chords now. We've done this sort of thing before, you know, where we, things have gone that sort of pattern. That's what we've got going on here. So as long as you can just try and spot, uh, some of the chords are harder to spot than others, but some are very straightforward. This first one's a little bit tricky. This is a B minor chord, which is probably not a chord you're terribly familiar with. So you've got B, D, and F sharp. So that's the first bit. So you could just do it as a chord if you want, or break it up straight away. That's your first one at bar nine. Then the second half of the bar is a different chord. A, C sharp. It's actually an F sharp minor chord. Again, you won't tell me familiar, so I, won't, I think it's probably similar if you just slow the chord. So you've got first chord. Notice that the thumb stayed there. Now at the end, you may want to put your third back there, but if you put your second there at the end, it'll set up the next chord, which is a G major chord. Okay, so you've got the B minor at the beginning. F sharp minor, G major, now can you feel that generally we're moving down, moving down, moving down, moving down, moving down, moving up. So what's going to keep happening is at the end of each uh, bar you're going to find your second finger moving down to a slightly new position, like there. And you're going to do it again here. And then you're going to do it here. And then stay where you are on that one, which is E minor. Bar 12, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. No, that's F sharp major. And the rhythm is, hold for a moment, and then move your hand up and do the same chord up here. 
Let's look at that again, fiddly fiddly. So, so it's B, D, F sharp, D, A, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp with your second, G, B, D, B with your second, F sharp, A, D, A with your second. It's an E minor chord now. Sharp, C sharp, and hold. Next section is the same but an octave higher for a bit. So it's B, D, F sharp, D, A, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp with your second, G, B, D, B with your second, F sharp, A, D, A with your second. Uh, next one, different now. B, G, C, E, G, E. That was ordinary C major. And then an A major chord. A, C sharp, E, and you hold it. And then bring your hand over the other one to play that. So you may want to just pause this video and go back and run that lots of times so you've got that left hand part going. But I shall just play it now, hands together, so you can just see how it goes. So you're going to need to have a lot of focus probably on the left hand part here. So four there, this is bar nine, so it goes. And then we'll be back into the first bit again. Easy, happy days.